your father's counselor and advisor in to pull him to your side. And the Bible said that the conspiracy is strong now because there are people close to the king that you're affecting, that you are persuading and influencing, and you are finding out what the king is talking about, telling it to the enemy. You're being played. Stop being played by these people. You ought to see what they wrote about you in a letter to me about you. I may tell you about it. And I may not. I don't think we can handle it. Wrote me a letter, told me how they thought about you. Now they're your friend. They're your buddies now. And I'm sitting back watching it. See, you're naked. You expose nothing is hidden. The stuff, the Bible said you did in a corner is going to be shouted from the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Read what the word said. And the conspiracy was strong. Strong conspiracy. Read it. For the people increased continually with asking. Now, because you have created an atmosphere where you don't trust the judgment of the king, because you met them before they got to the king and told them, oh yeah, you have a good case. Oh, if I was the, the judge, it would go in your favor. Then when they got before David, it didn't go in their favor. And then they would come back to Absalom, and now he had somebody on his side. He said, oh, I wish you was the judge too. I wish you was the one I could come to. Because if I could come to you, you're going to get it right. Read what the word says. And Absalom met the servants of David, and Absalom rode upon a mule, and the mule went under the thick box of a great oak. And his head caught hold of the oak, and he was taken up between the heaven and the earth, and the mule that was under him went away. Let me just I'm end it now. Watch this. This is Absalom. Absalom had chased his father all over Israel. But God being with David. Yeah. The conspiracy is about to end. Mm -hmm. right. And here comes David's men, and they see Absalom, and with some other, other men of Absalom, all of Ryan views. Got to understand the, the, the power of the mule. Why is the king's son, why he doesn't have a stag? No, he needs a mule. Yeah. See, a mule is a combination of a horse yeah. and a horse. It's rare, almost impossible. Every now and then it happens. But you can't put two mules together to make another meal. Y'all check it out. Go take the size of it. It takes a horse and a donkey. There are rare occasions where you put two mules together and they'll make a mule. But as a rule, mules are made by what? Horses and donkeys. Mules are sterile. They're unproductive. They can get their job done and what they're doing, but they can't reproduce. Wow. When you find people that's mulish, right. oh. yes, that's the, you feel it now, you feel it. And, and you find somebody riding on a mule, that's how they get to where they're going. They own something unproductive. Uh -huh. It's getting them where they're going, but what they going to do when you get there? And when he goes under the oak tree, his hair gets caught in the oak tree. And the mule went on by his bed. And these folks that are going to get you to a point, and they're going to leave you out hanging out the dry. I'm telling you, they're playing on you. After long hanging between him. Hold up, hold up. In what? 
our hearing. This man said, I heard the king say this. And I know you heard the king say this. Mm -hmm. He said in our hearing, he said the king to charge the and who? Abishai? Uh -huh. Get the high? Saying what? Beware that none just the Don't God anyone God. touch Absalom. All right, right. And here you are telling me, why didn't I kill it? I know you heard him say, don't touch it. Watch right. uh -huh. rebellious folk. They'll tell you stuff contrary to what you've been told. Yeah. Read what the word said. Otherwise, I should have walked falsehood against my own life. I would have hurt my own self. Read it. For there is no matter hid from the king, and thou thyself wouldest have set thyself against me. The king would have found out I killed him. Yeah. And then you would have, you would have turned on him. Y'all yeah. not in here with me. These folk that get you out there on these limbs. They'll be the very ones to turn you in, betray you. If a man will cheat with you, okay. he'll cheat on you. Yeah. The woman, the man said, it'll come to the king's ear. Yeah. He don't know I did it. And then you'll turn on me. Mm -hmm. Even though you would have given me a thousand pieces of silver. Read what the word says. Then said Joab, I may not tarry thus with thee. And they took three darts in his hand. And thrust them through the heart of Absalom. Absalom is helpless. And that's what people will do. They pray upon the helpless. They pray upon, upon those that do, do not have many friends. The conspirators have many friends. So they get together and they talk amongst themselves. See, when you talk with people of like mind, you never talk with anybody to dispute what you say. You, 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 can, you can be this. You can have the, the wrong uh, perspective about a thing because y'all just keep reinforcing your error. Come on. And Joab takes three darts, sinks them in the man's heart. He's helpless. But it didn't kill him. Read what the word says. While he was yet alive. He's still alive, dangling, with three darts in his heart. Tortured. Huh. Thinking about all that he'd done. He's the king. If David had been there, too late now. Right. You're out there hanging out the dry now. Uh -huh. Read what the word says. And ten young men mm. that bear Joab's armor. Joab's little conspiratory group uh -huh. surrounded Absalom in the tree. Talk about it. Come on Read it. Compassed about. That means encircled him. Yeah. Read it. And smoke Absalom. They began to strike him. Right. While he's already had the dust in him. His heart. Oh, let me help y'all with this. When people's hearts are already broken. People are already downtrodden. And then you are helping sticking other knives in it. He just told you to relieve the oppressed. You're supposed to help the father. Think about those that are less fortunate. And here you are, somebody helping. You double team them. And they begin to stick him. He's still alive. Torturing him. In the leg, in the thigh, in the back. While he's still alive. Between heaven and earth. Just like Jesus was hung. Y'all not in here with me. And the Bible says, they smote him. And then they killed him. This is the place. This is the place. This is, these are the characteristics of rebellious and critical spirits. They do not they will refuse to obey, and they're not willing to obey. They don't want to hear. And here's the problem. Absalom was the third child. If you count from David's father, Jesse, that's the first generation. David would have been the second generation. Abdon was the third. The next brother was the fourth. Absalom was the fifth generation. Today, that fourth and fifth generation of any generation, we call that X and Y generation. And there's this gap. It was a gap between David and that son who was the fifth generation. 
I'm telling you, that fifth generation, they don't like to be told things. They always, they always ask why. They, they don't want you to tell them what to do. They want to be in the planning to decide how it goes. Because they always sit back with a critical spirit, looking at things from a critical eye. And they point critical fingers. Because that's the nature of them. I'm trying to hear Critical spirit. I wrote something down. I want to just re relate it to you so you, you'll have this in your spirit. Most critical spirits are negative. Listen to them. They will condemn with their speech. They'll find others that are join in with that condemnation. It could be something simple. It won't be anything big. All they need is somebody to agree with them. Oh, let me just, let me just give you an example. I only wear white shirts. I don't care if I have a pink suit on, I don't wear a white shirt. Then if I start wearing pink shirts, then a condemning a critical spirit said, oh, that's going to wear them pink shirts now. He used to have conservative looking shoes, now he got some red shoes. They'll find little stuff to oh, yeah. complain about. Yeah. And then they'll start getting together on little stuff. Yeah. Then they'll begin to point out the faults yeah. of those in authority. Okay. Because that's the nature of that generation. Okay. Critical. <laughs> but where they take it too far, not only are they going to criticize it, they want to pull it down. Because they want something else in its place. They want it done another way. The way that they see it should be done because they saw it done somewhere else. Come on. Y'all stay here with me. Critical spirits find fault. Y'all in here with me? Jesus said that the Pharisees were hypocrite. They were hypocritical. <laughs> they weren't just critical, they were hypocritical. They went, they went over and above. See, it's one thing to point out something that's constructive criticism. Yeah, right. But when your purpose is to bring something down, yeah, right. have you heard what they said? Uh -huh. yeah. So as I leave you this morning, yeah. in this house, I take note of rebellion. I should, I'd be a fool not to. Yeah. I take note of negative things. Because this house is about the word of God. Yeah. All right. I'm going to dig, dig out, out, of, out of our archives. Our very first service. I had a VHS. VHS thing. And on one Wednesday night, I want to show that first service. A virgin service. Board of groups. Cliques. Conspiracies. Contention. Everybody was loving each other. The team was singing. They were hugging each other. I had two ushers in khaki pants and a white shirt. Hit the Holy Ghost. Two young men. They, they were not precision, nor were they trained. All they needed to do was say, good morning. Welcome to Town Power. Here's the program. The critical spirits. Contentious. Not in this house. The vision and purpose of this house. Is to elevate the word. Joab ended up after he had Absalom killed. The Bible says a long period of time went by, and while David was on his deathbed, he said, I remember what Joab did to my son. You all go and execute judgment. He was this king that did things differently for different situations, but he did not let that slide. And the Bible said Joab went and ran and grabbed hold to the horn of the altar. Anybody that would get hold to that horn that was on the altar, they were supposed to be spared. And David said, and the word said about David, he says, irregardless of him being at that altar. The Bible says Joab had his head down. He went even looked up, and he was holding on, expecting mercy. And just like Absalom didn't get any mercy, Joab didn't get any mercy. Joab didn't get any mercy. You dig in a ditch? All right. You better go ahead and dig too while you can. 